Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. Today we are playing Concordia Digital Edition. Uh, we are playing with the music turned off. Uh, that be that's because some of these games use uh, copyrighted music, and then my videos get flagged from YouTube, and then they get demonetized. Not that I'm making any money. My channel is too small anyway, even if I wanted to. Um, but I just don't want to deal with that, uh, you know kind of want to respect people's copyrights and then also don't want to justify those lawyers suing YouTube creators. So anyway, um, reason I'm playing this is because they had an update. Uh, they said, hey, listen, we got some new uh, DLCs coming. Uh, we have two new maps that are going to be in that DLC available. And so I quickly was like, oh, sweet, I got to play this game again. So I went to do a local game, you know, started a new game. And then I was like, no, they're not. They're not available. Uh, right here are the two maps they were talking about. This two and three to six player game. And I was like, what is going on? And I forgot that I'm not a really good reader. I got to read things several times before I understand it. And after the fourth time reading it, I realized that you need to go to settings. And then click this. Enable beta content. So click that. And then after you do that, I think you just got to click back. Go back to local game, click an empty slot, and voila, the new maps are there. Now, they're beta, and that's because the, I think the new DLC or the accompanying DLC that comes with these maps uh, will be coming later. Um, there's some things on this map that I don't quite understand, like these symbols here, these wheat symbols which is kind of interesting. So I think there are like rules that are going to be coming in the expansion. So if I go to my collection, we click here. Uh, it says this expansion contains two additional maps, which we have already. Uh, and then it talks about what the maps are. The city with 10 providences on the map that include trade routes that may be occupied by more than one colonist. The flood mechanic increases food yields an additional trade for, uh, yeah. And then this one is a small city, nine providence map that introduces a variable production one city providence. Interesting. Yeah, so I don't know. These maps are kind of weird. I don't know, um, you know, what they do, but pretty cool. I didn't really realize that the, the, the small map packs also introduced new rules. I mean, this is how how much I did not play this game in the physical form, and I now realize uh, that it was a mistake. What am I doing? Okay, that's... Um, go back to main menu. I'm not sure what I clicked on there. Oh, I probably clicked play tutorial. All right, so we're going to do a local game. And I'm trying to think... Let's do this two to four player map even though i don't really understand the trade routes so this is a trade route going through that that river is that the nile and then um that little bug saying that maybe it's worth seven points if you control it this gives you money i don't know this seems kind of interesting this just you know what what else let's figure it out um, I think I do like the Salsa expansion. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you just want me to start playing base games again. Or do you think the Salsa expansion is worth it? I think Salt as a wild good, I don't know, just makes me less like anxious about, you know, uh, having the right goods. It's like I have a Salt there. It's like I feel like I can kind of, it kind of makes the game feel more forgiving. But I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't. And then the tableau is kind of cool because they give you some special abilities. I don't know how balanced they are. I'm not a good enough player to realize that. Um, but I just don't think the salsa expansion adds, like, it does add some complexity, but it's it's not like, oh, man, what a slog to play through that. You know, it's like, it just kind of enhances an already decent game. Uh, so let's just do two players since that map does say, or three player. Says, I think it says two to four. Now nah, let's do two player. I was thinking like, should I, should I add the third player? No, let's do two player. We'll do Marcus. You know, we, we haven't played with just me and him in a while. Let's see. Um, 
you know, we can, we can kind of talk, you know, get to know each other. Kind of miss them. Oh, look at this. See, this game, you know, like I was like, I don't know how this game works with this weird map. Of course. Why did I, why did I doubt that they weren't going to teach me? All right, why did I doubt that? Okay, so this is interesting. So we got the sea line. The rivers are treated as sea lines. And for clarity of the rules, they're referred to as such. Every sea line can be occupied by any number of sea colonists at the same time on this map. The Red Sea is not connected to the Nile. To place the sea colonists into the Red Sea, the personality, the personality card colonists has to be used. Interesting. I like how I knew that was the Nile. Like, you don't understand. Like, I'm an American. Maps are kind of difficult for us. I knew that that was the Nile. So proud of myself. Trading posts. There are special, um, Frank oh, frankincense. Trading posts in the Red Sea. Uh, and another special gold trading post. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Um, the player with the sea colonists on one of the connecting lines must place their sea colonists on the spice square at the end of their architect's action. At the end of the game, each sea colonist on these special trading posts is worth seven each. Only one sea colonist per player per special trading post is allowed. Okay, so you can get one, seven points during the game. Okay. Interesting. And then we got perfect. Oop, oop. Bonus food markers. So, okay, this is... um. The yearly Nile flood and the five Nile provinces, especially fruitful and the players get one extra food if they produce in a province with the food bonus marker, which begins the game. Ah, okay. Introduction, the bonus marker is placed one province downstream. That's cool. Okay. All right, well, I guess let's get playing. How do I, uh, how do I confirm that I've, I'm happy? Oh, the check mark. What should I select? Um, when you play the trading card, you get one additional money. Oh, that's interesting. When buying brick for the first time, brick's free. You know, I like brick. I like brick. I want brick to be free. Let's do it. All right, so hopefully this game doesn't take forever because I do have a job that I have to do, like a real job. So hopefully this doesn't take long. I might be playing a little fast because of said job quickly approaching. All right, let's look at the map. Where do we start? Oh, we start here. Okay. Look at that. At the Delta. The Delta right there. It's a Delta. Usually fairly fertile, I believe. Look at that now. Just niling around. All right. Um, okay, so we start there. I feel like these trading posts are probably fairly important. Definitely want to want to expand that. So let's go ahead and do our old architect. Um, so I could boat. I love that I can just boat up here, you know. This probably would be good. I could... Get some brick and some early. Oh, that's what the computer did. That wily computer. Ruining my life. Okay. Because now they just made it more expensive. I don't have that much gold. Computer. I could. Nope. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Man, I really wanted that brick computer, and you just ruined my life. I guess I could go up here and just, you know, get some of that wild resource. You know? Go there. Go there. And, uh... I'll be poor. But you know what? I got some salt. That's, that's a fact, guys. If you are poor, as long as you have salt, you can make anything taste amazing. Oh, man. I should know. I, I grew up very poor. Okay, 
Um, let's see. What did that computer do? They did the old trading post. Yeah, because we're poor. We have no money. Um, I feel like I want to do perfect. I mean, I know I'm not the prime minister or the PM project manager or there's like, there's a fancy word that I cannot say. Um, if you love this game, I'm sorry I butcher it so bad, but it is fun. I do love it. I love the digital ad adaptation. I think they did a, an amazing job with this game. I mean, for a very, like, ah, there we go. It said what I was. I saw it. Um, all right, so I'm at 16 points. So they're at 16. I'm at 15. Is this new? Oh, no, it just seems smaller. Doesn't it? Am I crazy? I'm going to have to look at my past videos. I think the UI looks a little bit smaller. Not that I don't mind. I like being able to see this map real huge. But yeah, I just I just kind of noticed that. All right, so I have zero money still. I did not fix my money situation. Um, I could get a brick and get it free. Um, oh, I need wheat, though. Uh, wheat would be helpful to have. Why? Um, because I could get, that's how I get settlers out. So let's do that. Um, what could I sell though? I wish I could sell salt. Maybe I could sell some fabric, but let's see. Maybe I don't want to do this. Maybe I don't want to do this. How you win the game is playing cards. So I think I want to do a senator. Um, I know I get that brick for free. And I know I have, what do I have? I have a, a brick house, a brick house. All right, I got a brick house. So I could do that, get some points for the brick house, get some colonists out there and try to get them up the trade route. Um, architect would be kind of handy too with the jupe. So maybe do that one and maybe a farmer, get that farmer going. I feel like I want to do this because it would also give me money. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do the brick because bricks are free. Well, one. Whoa, why did, I mean, it sounded like I did a bad move. Oh no, it's just that Marcus is doing the old Tribune review. All right, that's the newspaper where I live. All right, so that's, um. I don't really wanna not do anything. Is this an or up? Oh. Slow down. Let's read it. Um, yeah, I want to take seven because I'm poor. Get some money. There we go. There's that really scary sound. Ah, oh, they're going to copy my awesome ability. I appreciate that. And then I could Diplo their Diplo. All right. It would be nice to do some architecting, but I really don't have a reason to. I am the PM. Let's see if there's anything worth. Oh, that could solve my problems. Oh, but I think this could. I could get that extra wheat from the old flooding. But this is, I mean, you got to get salt. When you can get salt, you got to get salt. Because salt's wild. This is what, this is something I don't understand about this game. Is. Right now, like I have a lot of cards. I still have actions that I could do. And is it worth me doing Tribune early? You know, so you see, I kind of want to do this because then my food problems are over. And then, <clears throat> and then I can lay down two more colonists when I do Tribune, which I, I might do. I, I don't know. Let me see where I can go. <clears throat> I have a brick. So I could. 
I could build in another area. I don't have a lot of money though. I kind of want to do architect and I want to move up this because I, I don't, I think you want to get to here, right? Yeah. I feel like I'm not expanding enough either. Um, let's do architect. How far can I get? Not far enough. I mean, without the music, this game's very ominous. All right, um, I could go up here and get some more brick in this land. Um, I mean, like maybe I want to do that, and then I can also get some more. But I'm really kind of like over committed into this region right here. I really want to get a boat up there somewhere. And this isn't really that exciting of a move. I mean, I could put a brick there. Well, yeah, I could put a brick there and that, mm, it's so expensive, you know? And I only, well, I do have the wild resource. I keep forgetting, mm, but I would need to use it as a brick. Like, I really wanted to do... All right, I'm just going to... Whatever. I don't think it's optimal. At all. But, I mean, it does make this... Like, a real quick way to get brick and, and iron. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and Tribune. Well, you know... Okay, I'm going to sell two wheat. Whoop, not three wheat, two wheat. And I'm going to buy... I only need to buy one. Because of the salt. Yep. Okay, and then Tribune. Get a new form card based on the amount of cards that I brought back to my hand. Um, what does this one do? Take two for every providence uh, with one of your houses. Place one colonist for five gold. I like that. And take one salt. I want to do this one. Let's do a boat. Don't understand. Because I want to play that. Confirm colonist placement. Right? I don't know. How am I, how did I get myself all twisted up? Yeah, like I want to play that. He's used once. After used to be just here. Yeah. Confirm. But it's not letting me place. Right? Am I am I doing something wrong here? What? Okay. Maybe I just gotta play a card first. All right, I'm going to do the other perfect and just gain a lot of money. OK. 
Okay. Can I play it now? Okay, there we go. Hmm, that was weird. I'm glad I figured it out, but... It was weird. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's do a diplomat so I can copy the perfect. And... Okay, now I'm loaded up. And then I'm going to start trying to march down this, uh... I'm going to start marching down this denial. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm trying to think about what I should do. Should I do this? Oh, can I do all of these? Do I have enough money? I do. I forgot I have $22. Let's do it. All right, the, your sea colonists entered trading posts. You received seven victory points. Every time the frankincense providence is activated, you receive five. Um, but, oh, money. Sweet. Okay. I wonder if I lose that colonist now, though. Let's just do... I'm going to play an architect just to see. Yep, I lost them. Okay. I just wanted to play an architect just to see if that my assumption was true. I have 50 victory points. Um, I feel like I... I feel like all, all my stuff is gone. Um, we need to start... Let's start getting some resources again. Um, we'll go with this one because we get the, the wild resource. Plus, we can get things that allow us to get troops onto the battlefield. We do have the colonist. So, I might throw him out. And where do we want to put the colonist? We don't have any more boats. Interesting. Well, we have one boat still out there that I'm trying to get out to here as fast as possible. Um, let's just put a guy there. All right, I'm at 56 points. Let's look at the cards. Um, so I really, I could get one card. Um, so I, I feel like maybe if I buy some wine, I might be able to get two cards. Um, so let's buy a wine. And let's buy a brick, because we get the first one free anyway. And then let's do a senator. Um, what do I want to do? I do have a lot of, I do, I feel like I have a lot of, um, let's look at the map. So yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, so I think that would be a good card to buy because it just makes those even more fun. So let's buy that. And then, don't really have the need for colonists because I have a lot of colonists, but I do feel like I'm kind of resource light, so maybe I'll grab another perfect. Am I playing the game against the Undertaker? It's like, darn. 
I think I have the sound of, you know, turned down a little bit for you guys so that bell isn't probably as dramatic as it is for me. Uh, man, I would love to do that. I mean, why am I, why am I trying to get resources? Because that's how you do things on the map. Um, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and get... And then I'm going to use my smith to get iron. There we go. I might do tribune. Okay. And then we get an ability from the old form. Ooh, I like that. I also like that. I feel like I'd rather not do the brick. All my colonists are on the map. <clears throat> so I think we really do need to buy these. I mean, we're winning. We really need to just focus on buying these. Um, so I need more resources. Uh, dang, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're you're winning. They are winning. Okay. Um. Oh, I could diplomat and get that brick. Let's get some brick. All right, and then I think I could. I need some wine, or I need. Man, I was really hoping that he would reset because I need that salt. Oh, wrong one. I want an architect. <coughs> All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. It's, I mean, let's just do it. Seven points, you know? I don't think it's the strongest move other than racing to get those seven points, but uh, I don't know. All right, let's do architect again and then next actually try to focus on that and then trying to move everyone else where I can actually build stuff like. Hmm. I really need wine. I had a cough there, so I muted the mic. And I am thinking, I am thinking. Yeah, I mean, I could really just kind of hit up some fabric card. Without the brick, well, I don't really need to worry about not without the brick. Um, all right, so let's, I could go here. Get that fabric. To go here. Try to get that fabric. Hmm. 
I have another guy I need to move. All right, so I'm going to buy that, buy that, and yeah, that's it. Boom, seven points. It does suck that I, like, lose out on that ship, but... <clears throat> All right, so I got to finish this game for two reasons. One, I got work. Two, my allergies are making it difficult to communicate. Yes, I live in the Northeast. Tree parlin is kind of going nuts. It's wet and rainy. Okay, so what are we going to do? I need money. Let's do it perfect. Let's reset the board. And then we can do it perfect and get some salt. Oh, but that looks so juicy. so juicy okay yep oh look at those points all right so we're gonna buy we're gonna buy some cards we gotta get the game over the computer feels the same way as i do wait what am i doing what am i doing i can uh, i already used my dip low dang it So we do have a lot of weavers. <clears throat> um, and that's all I can buy. That's sad. But that's important. So I think it's worth it. I can't afford. I can't afford. All right. Yeah. So we're going to do it. <clears throat> we got to buy that card. Um, we'll do brick because bricks are free for us. Okay, let's do Weaver. Yep. We're just gonna load up on all of our resources and I think maybe I'll trade. And we'll sell. So I want to try to get some houses out if I get that chance. You know what? I'm just going to Tribune. I want to, I want to try to end the game. Yeah, I can buy that card. I don't think any of these are really going to help me right now. This is game's over, just doesn't matter. Maybe that. Dang it. He knew I was coming. Wait. He didn't buy the last card though. Why is <clears throat> oh because he built his last house. All right, well, I'm gonna buy that card. All right, so let's see. We sell all our goods for money. Is that enough? No, <laughs> no, it is not. Marcus beat me. He's back to his old habits. Let's see the details. Let's see the breakdown. 
All right, so seven points. He got seven points for end of the game. Uh, I beat him on this guy here, which is the money. Um, he beat me, uh, which is, I think, Providence's. Jupiter, uh, he beat me there as well. Goods, he beat me there as well. And he, I beat him here for, for colonists. I got all my colonists out. Um, he beat me in wine, farming, and masonry. And I beat him in weaver and smithing. So, yeah. Um, just didn't spread up. <clears throat> just didn't spread up my points enough, honestly, is where that, where I lost. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it, you know. Uh, I really just needed to kind of spread out, you know, where I was focusing in on points. I mean, I definitely dominated in weaving and did a d did decently in smithing, but he kind of hit the other three, uh, you know, kind of in the, in, in the middle range, but enough to kind of dominate there. He dominated in uh, pretty much every other aspect, you know, here, I kind of was holding my own there. So if I kind of focused on this one a little bit, you know, I kind of lost some points there. And that's really it. I think if I... I think if I just would have... Um, kind of focused on at least one more good. Or trade, whatever you want to say. And kind of didn't lose sight of this one. I think I would have... You know, it would have been a little bit of a closer game. Um, I, th I don't see where the... The trading post victory points are captured. Maybe I'm just missing it, but or maybe they just didn't add them to this yet. But yeah, what a fun little map! <clears throat> I do like that. You know, it adds the complexity of like you know the this thing up here, and then you know going through the Nile, uh, and you have to kind of like say, all right, well, am I willing to lose a boat for for seven victory points? Well, I got fourteen just from those. You know, the game would have, I would have been way behind if I didn't get that fit with that 14 points. So to me, I think it's worth it. I mean, seven points is seven points. So uh, interesting map. I do like it. Um, you know, this salsa expansion, I think, you know, like I said, doesn't really change the game or make it more complex. Um, you know, having that wild good is kind of good, but. After this game, I do kind of feel like maybe playing just with the base game, especially with a map that kind of already adds its own little wrinkle. You know, now I'm adding three different wrinkles to the to the game. I'm adding the well, the base game, obviously. I mean, I don't think that counts, but I'm adding you know the the expansion plus the map has its own little like quirks as well. So I don't know. Definitely, I can definitely see the value in just doing the base game and then that map. And, and you know, kind of lowering the the amount of things you have to kind of wrap your head around. But anyway, this was Concordia. Again, remember to do the beta, get that beta content, play the map early, especially if you are part of the um, you know, you you bought the expansions anyway, like I did the expansion pack. Um, yeah, get in there and start playing those new maps. I definitely like them; they are interesting. And this was Concordia, and I will see you next time.